Greetings, crayons and cryptids. <laughs> Hope you're having a lovely day. This video is kind of going to be a couple of speed paints of my kid OC from my new comic, Milk, that I'm going to begin releasing around about August on both Webtoon and Tapas, and since I haven't really been sharing too much about it, I figure now is as good a time as any. The comic follows a young boy dressed in a yellow raincoat on a mystical quest for groceries and the holy grail, Milk. Along his travels to locate the store, he must venture through overgrown forests and butterbar wetlands, fighting demons and more. I plan this to be a multi-volume comic, um, with the recent completion of volume one. Inspired by fairy tales and Studio Ghibli, I've always wanted to do a story that fulfills both of those criteria, and I feel that Milk does that. The main struggle, along with the not-so-clever decision to paint all of my backgrounds, <laughs> has been the monster designs. Having scary, but still kind of friendly characters, my style tends to be more humanoid beings and humans with objects on their heads, so wrinkly granny demons, gnomes and goats that fit into my current style has definitely taken a fair amount of finagling, but I think in the end it's kind of come out quite well and was definitely worth doing. Speaking of designs, Character designs that fit into a narrative is always so much fun, which is why I felt like doing this video, putting my protagonist into different universes. <laughs> Bean Puppy Cat was one of my favorites to watch back in YouTube in the day, so I was really excited when it got picked up by Netflix. The Netflix show had an overall pink issue with a simple but adorable designs, so I wanted to kind of give my kid the similar raincoat that you see B wearing at the beginning of the series with cute little odd socks and you know just just cute little details. I think it I think it turned out quite adorable. Overall, I think he weirdly fit right into this universe despite his questy nature. <laughs> Growing up, I've seen every single episode from the old seasons with Brock and Misty up until round about series black and white. Pokemon was one of the first franchises that I got into thanks to my best friend back when I was like six years old. And to this day, she and Pokemon are the entire reason why I love cartoons so much. And that same friend got me into anime and so much more. But after primary school, I never really heard back from her ever again. So I hope she's well and happy and knows that she helped me find my purpose in life. Enough uh, sappy rambling. Um, I figured the kid would be more into like bug type and grass type, maybe rock type Pokemon, which is why we got like the, the, little, the little guys. And obviously still rocking his little, little, little sweater and overalls. I think somehow he'd be a lot more stressed in the universe of Pokemon. I think, I think fighting demons for milk might be a little bit easier than raising and training a bunch of crazy Pokemon. <laughs> but overall, I'm very pleased with this design also. Lastly is Avatar. Avatar, I have recently managed to get my partner to watch with me and we have just finished Avatar The Last Airbender and now I plan to force him to watch Legend of Korra because he must know the pain. I love this show with my with all of my heart. It's one of the main animations that kind of has always managed to inspire me and get me out of like little writing flunks that I found myself in when it comes to writing little side stories and little things that I previously haven't really been sharing very much. It's only really within the last like year that I've been actually sharing my stories and comics. It's also really good for watching and kind of getting inspired for poses because it's a bunch of little kids like fighting so it's very dramatic. <laughs> yeah anyway uh, for this design I'm not entirely happy with it but I kind of figured that he'd weirdly in contrast to like in Pokemon where he'd be more into like earth and everything. I feel like for Avatar he would kind of be more like maybe like water tribe for some description. Not like water tribe like Katara but more like remember the swamp people? <laughs> I feel like he'd be more like those kind of guys, but I still gave him kind of water tribe inspired clothing. And I I do think this design came out quite cute. It's definitely not um, quite as good, I think, as the other two. I think I deviated a bit from the kid's personality, but if he was in a different universe, he would probably have a slightly different personality anyway, so I will let this one slide. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, so these are the three designs that I came up with for my kid character if he was in those universes. Yeah, and check me out on Instagram if you want to stay updated when I will be, you know, posting and sharing the comic. So yeah. Aside from that, have a lovely rest of your day, and I will now disappear. Bye-bye. <laughs>